Hello again. So this is your um, first lesson on the circles 2 topic, so the skills lesson, so 11.2s. And what we're going to be looking at is looking at semicircles, or parts of a circle, and uh, sectors. And again, a sector is just a part of a circle. Okay. Now, on Caboodle, the first example is this one here. Oh, it looks like this. It's a semicircle with a radius of 6 centimetres. And the question asks you to find the perimeter of this semicircle. Now, I'm going to do that, and I'm also going to calculate the area of it as well, because that is something you will need as well. Right. Now, we should already know from circles 1 that the circumference of a circle is pi times by its diameter. And we should know that the area is pi times by its radius squared. Now we can use these pieces of information to find the perimeter, or the circumference to find the perimeter of the shape, and the area to find the area of the semicircle. So the first thing we're going to do is find the perimeter. Now this is half of a circle. So if we imagine we've got a full circle instead of half, to get this bit here, we would calculate the circumference. So the circumference of the full circle again we're going to use the formula pi times by the diameter. Now we don't we're not told the diameter but we can work it out. So the radius is six centimeters so therefore, again, we should know this from last time, the diameter is double that, and that gives me 12 centimetres. So using pi times by the diameter, the circumference of the full circle is pi times by 12, which is 12 pi. And I'm purposely going to leave it as 12 pi for now. I'm not going to write it as a decimal. The reason for this is because if I rounded this answer now, I may lose some of my um, accuracy marks towards the end because I've rounded too early. So I know this part here or the whole thing should I say is 12 pi. So this part here that I've just drawn in pink is going to be half of that. So the what's called the arc length is 12 pi divided by 2 which is 6 pi. So all I've done is I've divided by 2. So this part here is 6 pi. Now this is the bit that a lot of people often forget. We've got this, but that's not our final answer, because we've got the perimeter, so we need to add this length here. Well this is a diameter, and we know that the diameter was 12 centimetres. So the perimeter is going to be 6 pi plus 6 plus 6, so plus 12. And this is where we can now use our calculator. So 6 pi or 6 times pi plus 12 that gives me 30.8495 and so on. So to one decimal place the perimeter is 30.5 centimeters. And that's quite a lot of information so I'm just going to recap. I've used the circumference formula Imagining I had a full circle and that the circumference would be pi times by 12, the diameter is 12 because our radius is 6, so I've just doubled it. So therefore if we had the full circle, our circumference would be 12 lots of pi, but I don't have a full circle, I've only got half of it. So therefore I need to half that 12 pi and get 6 pi. So this length here is 6 pi, and now I need to add on the 12 and then convert it to a decimal.
and get 30.5 centimeters. Now the area is actually a little bit easier. I'm just going to do it down here. Again, I'm going to use the area for a full circle, height times by the radius squared. So let's first of all work out the area of what the full circle would be. Radius we know is 6, so it's pi times by 6 squared. 6 squared is 36, so the area is 36 pi. But again, I don't have a full circle, I've got half a circle. So the area, the sector, or the semicircle in this case, is 36 pi divided by 2, which is 18 pi. Which is 56.5 to one decimal place. Units a centimeter squared, because remember it's an area. Okay. And that's how you find the circumference, or sorry, the perimeter and the area of a semicircle. Now, that is one specific type of sector. In other words, half of a circle. Right. Now, what we're going to look at next is sectors more generally. So it might be helpful, in fact, I highly recommend you to write this definition down. So a sector of a circle is Part of a circle where two radii go from the center to two points on the circumference. Okay. So feel free to pause the video if you need to just to get that down. So for example, this a sector because if we imagine we had a full circle okay that's my center I've got two radii that join the two points on the circumference so this bit here is my sector okay Now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at the arc length. Right. And the arc is this bit here, just the bit, or just the part of the circumference. So that bit there is the arc. Now that is part of the circumference. So we know that the formula for the arc length is going to be something to do with our formula for the circumference. Now we know that a sector is just part of a circle, so we need to see how much or what part of the circle this arc is. And the way we do that is it's going to be the angle at the middle, which I'm just going to call theta, in other words, in this case 106, out of 360 degrees. 360 degrees because it's a full circle. So for instance if we had a quarter of a circle then our theta would be 90 degrees. 90 divided by 360 or 90 out of 360 is a quarter. So that would be a quarter of a circle. So this is the part or 
the proportion or how much of the circle we've got and we want that part of the circumference. Okay. So just to be really clear, this bit here is the amount of the part of the circle. And this bit here is the formula for the circumference. So in this case, the arc length, so in other words, this blue bit here is going to be the angle. So I might add that one. That bit there is just the angle. So the arc length, we sometimes write that as L, is equal to 106 degrees divided by 360 degrees times by pi times by the diameter. Now, here we actually know the radius is 10 centimetres. So therefore, the diameter must be 20 centimetres. Again, I've just times by 2. Now, all I need to do is stick that into my calculator. So, fraction 106 out of 360. Notice here, I'm going to go right so that when I type, it's not at the bottom of the fraction. Times by pi times by 20. That will give me it as a horrible fraction. So, the arc length is 53 over 9 pi or to one decimal place 18.5 centimeters so that length there is 18.5 centimeters okay. if you are asked for the perimeter of that sector you take your arc length and add 10 and then this length here, because it's a radius, or a radii, it has to be the same length as this. So actually our perimeter of that sector will be 18.5 plus 10 plus 10, so 38.5. Now, the area of the sector, again, is very similar. So, the area of a sector now again, we're going to, or we know that a sector is just a part of a circle. So if we want the area, we know it's going to have something to do with this formula. Now the part of the circle here, or the amount of a circle, we said was theta over 360. And we're going to do exactly the same here. But this time, instead of the circumference bit on the end, we want the area. So this now gives us the formula for the area of a sector. So again here, we know theta is 106 degrees. Out of the 360, that would be a full circle. Times by pi, times by r squared, well that's 10 squared. Stick it in the calculator. 106 down 360 times pi times by 10 squared and that gives you 265 over 9 pi or to one decimal place is 92.5 now this is an area so it's centimeters squared so let's go off one So, for sectors, there are two key formulas that you need to know, and that is this one here,
and also this one here. So please make sure that those are written down in your box. So now you should be able to have a go at 11.2s, which is this one here. Look at the first part that I did on um, semicircles for question one and question, or question one to question four. This is a quarter of a circle, so instead of it being half, it's going to be a quarter. This is getting you to think about the um, how we work out the what part of the circle we want. Finding the area of a sector, so that's using this formula here. And perimeters, so using this part here. Okay. And that's about it.